G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, today we're going to do a video that it's something we've been looking forward to for quite a while. It's called Learning by Distraction. Um, basically, we're going to see if we can cut up this alloy rim with a this Toyota Tough alloy rim. It's not just any old alloy rim. With a cheap ship, Black & Decker circular saw and a 40 tooth tungsten carbide blade. By all accounts, Toyota Tough Rim is in for a hard time, but you never know, Black & Decker might let out the magic smoke, or come down with a case of um, mechanical Armageddon, remains to be seen. Information on the web suggests that the, uh, the alloy rim will, uh, will come off second best on this deal, and uh, at the end of the day I should be left with a whole lot of small pieces of aluminium that I can melt down and cast into something useful. The quality of the alloy looks pretty good. It should be good stuff and it should machine, I think, pretty well. I don't think they'd use rubbish in um, car wheels. It'd have to be pretty good quality, tough stuff. So, yeah, we'll do all this outside. It's probably going to generate a lot of noise and mess. And, uh, okay, let's get on with it. Right, well, we're good to go. I've got my big old truck tap laid out and uh, old pallet to stop um, rubbing holes in it. Our saw, so we'll, uh, we'll get into it. The plan is I'll cut each of those five spokes out and then I'll cut it across ways and uh, see how we get on.
all of that we're left with a tub of alloy which has to be cut down further but at least it's manageable now you could uh, you could feed that through the uh, the uh, metal cutting band saw in the vertical position or maybe use something else on it as you can see the cross section they had to cut was fairly thick but I mean overall the saw handled it very easily and I finished up with 16 pound, I weighed it on the bathroom scales, 16 pound of scrap metal there of alloy which is quite a bit of al aluminium and uh, so how about the saw and the saw blade, how did they hold up? The saw went very well, no problem whatsoever, but the, the blade lost, it lost a couple of teeth uh, and it chipped a couple of others, so, well, I'm not really worried about that because um, it was only a cheap blade, that's why I didn't have any worries about boring out the centre of it. it uh, well, I think it was a pack of three blades for $12. So you can't complain about that, and the blade's still usable. There wasn't any problem with galling on it. Nothing really drastic. And uh, overall, yeah, it cut it no problem whatsoever. But the one downside, the big downside of doing this is the mess it makes. It makes a humongous mess. And the trouble is, it's aluminium. So my, my, a magnetic broom's not going to pick it up, obviously. And being aluminium, it gets very, you get that very fine, flaky cuttings that just stick to everything. You know, even though I had a tarp on the ground, I couldn't sweep up on the tarp because it just stuck to the tarp. It stuck to everything. The broom, you name it. I had to spend an hour, at least, with the vacuum cleaner going around vacuuming all that mess up. So. I'd be hesitant to do it again with a circular saw unless I had no other option. So I'm thinking maybe, I've still got one rim to go, I'm thinking, and I've got to cut these up, I'm thinking maybe reciprocating saw with a, say a demolition blade and a fairly coarse demo blade. I haven't got a reciprocating saw, it's one thing I haven't got, I've never even used one. So any viewers that have got experience with using reciprocating saws, Put some comments in what you think, how it would go cutting aluminium like that, you know, that, that thickness is maximum. You know, how would a reciprocating saw go? I think it'd probably go okay, it'd be slower, and you might have to lube it because otherwise it might clog the blade. I didn't lube the circular saw at all, I had enough mess as it was, and it wouldn't have lasted long anyway the way it was spinning. The circular saw really spins too fast for the, for the well, it's... It does the job, but it knocks the hell out of the blade because it's really going too fast for the tungsten tips, which are not rated for that for that sort of performance, I wouldn't expect. So there, there you have it, folks. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with it. It worked good. No problems, really, except the mess. The mess is bad, bad, bad news. And, you know, holding the rim too to cut it is also very awkward. I didn't use my little workhorse out there and clamp it with G clamps because uh, I did, the legs were punched holes through my um, my old tarp, which has already got enough holes in it. So I just did it with the circle, and as you saw, yeah, it wasn't a big issue, but you had to be careful. Uh, so anyway, that's it. Yeah, any comments on this video, I'll be pleased to get them. And uh, the next part will be seeing how I go cutting this up how easily this sort of alloy breaks up with a you know hammer and that. I think it'll take a fair bit to break that, you know, it's pretty tough. Um, so that'll be another video anyway, and we'll work our way through this and eventually get to where we melt some down and machine it up. Should be good. Okay, that's it. See you next time. Cheers.